Hey guys, I'm Alexandra. Welcome to my series, Make My Space Work, where I am helping entrepreneurs who are in desperate need of a change. These are people who have started their businesses from the ground up and who need an inspiring and motivational space to work. So I am here to help. Today I'm making over the office of Kyle Smith. He owns Gorman and Smith, which helps make breweries from scratch. And I have a budget of $800 to completely transform this little den. Hey Alexandra, my name's Kyle and I own Gorman Smith Beverage Equipment and I help people build breweries. About a year and a half ago, I went into work one day and there was a letter from a lawyer saying that I no longer had a job. So I wanted to help mitigate the damage as much as possible to the people I had been working with and that's why I started up Gorman and Smith. It, it was frustrating and anxiety inducing at first and I was really uncertain if I could actually pull it off. So I work from home and I've converted my den into a makeshift office. The problem in this room is it has very poor workflow. It's really hard to keep things organized. It just needs a cleanup. The, the carpeting should probably get removed. It's ancient. <laughs> yeah, the walls need work. <laughs> For the office, I wanted a more industrial vibe to match match kind of the, the roots that I had starting this business and bring a little bit more of the mentality of the industry in, into the office space. Please help me make my space work, Alexander. I really resonated with Kyle's story about losing his job and starting his own business. That exact thing actually happened to me. And I'm so excited to do this makeover for him because making over his office is the last thing on his to-do list, even though he kind of has a clear vision of what he wants. He just needs help executing it. So I am doing a full on like mini reno to this room. We are taking up the carpet, we're painting the walls, and we are changing the light and bringing in all new furniture. It's gonna be a miracle if I'm able to stick to this $800 budget. I'm gonna try really hard. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Let's get started. Hey guys, so it is prep day and I have come to Black Lab Brewing to get some decor and design inspiration. So this was actually the first client that Kyle's company, Gorman and Smith, ever took on, which is really cool. And he said that the interior of this brewery is really his like design inspiration. He loves this space and I really wanna bring elements of this space back into his home office. These um, pipe legs on this bench, I think they're so cool. They're very industrial feeling. I love how they juxtapose against like the beautiful natural wood. So I definitely wanna find an element like this for Kyle's space. I'm not sure what yet, but I'm gonna see if there's any way I can bring like pipes into his into his home office. And I absolutely love these pendant lights above the bar. I want to definitely bring this inspiration into Kyle's space for his overhead light. So the first thing I'm gonna do is transform these textured red walls. Guys, they're literally textured. I always recommend going lighter and brighter for a small space. It's gonna make it feel bigger. So I just think going white and sticking with a neutral color is just gonna make this space feel 10 times bigger than it actually is. Now, Kyle actually has really nice parquet floors underneath this old carpet, but I have a different plan that is going to blow your mind. It's gonna blow your mind. You might think it's a big task to pull up your carpet, but it's actually not. It might seem like a daunting task, but the payoff is so worth it. There are so many different things you could do to your floors. You could put peel and stick tiles, vinyl tiles, click hardwood flooring, all of these things that are gonna add style to your space and make it look brand new without dropping a ton of money. So excited, it's reveal day. And what a difference already. The walls are white. It feels so bright and airy in here. Like already it looks like a completely different room. For the flooring, I originally wanted to go with click hardwood flooring, which is a great renter friendly solution. Those can get really pricey and they're pretty labor intensive. So a really fun alternative is using vinyl hardwood flooring. I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and a trim guide very technical term, but you could use a ruler. Um, and I'm going to just gently glide the X-Acto knife across to create a straight line. We're gonna be adding trim to this, um, so we have a little bit of leeway, but I need to get it straight, let's be real. Um, and we only have this 
floor. So if I screw it up, what Kyle doesn't get a hardwood floor. Now that the floor is down, it looks amazing. The best part is that it doesn't take a lot of install time. The other great thing about this floor is that it's heavy enough that you don't have to use any adhesive um, to hold it down. So if you're in a rental, this is really great because you can roll it out and then just take it up when you move. We are using a spray adhesive um, for the corners and the area near the door just to make it extra secure. But look how easy this is. Kyle already had this cabinet in his office. It was actually the only piece of furniture he bought for his space, and it totally works with the rest of the design that I have in mind. It's black, it's sleek. The one thing I'm gonna do, though, is switch up the knobs. And this is such a great way to elevate a cabinet, make it feel like new, without spending a ton of money. I just got four leather hooks to kind of tie into the brewery, like rustic industrial feel. And just like that, Kyle has a brand new cabinet for under $30. So on this wall, I'm adding some open shelving. I love open shelving for a few reasons. It's great storage, so you can tuck things away in boxes, or you can put things on display that you love and it becomes a decor piece that's also functional. You can find faux barn wood at your hardware store for usually under $10. I then went online and found these really lovely pipe brackets. Looks so good. If you can believe it, this custom looking barn wood industrial style shelf costs under $20. I wanted to go with barnwood because I really wanted to warm up this space somehow. This is a very industrial feeling room and it can get really cold really quickly. The time has come. I'm so excited I get to decorate these open shelves for Kyle. Now I'm actually using some parts that he sells in his store. So these are brewery parts. What are these? Breweries? This is what builds breweries. Now I'm putting these on display and I'm making them decorative. And I feel like this is a really fun tip for your own shelf in your office. Put those things on display that you actually use for work and then suddenly they become decor. Now it is time to change this, dare I say, awful light and replace it with one that more reflects the style of this room. Now lighting is so important and such an easy way to bring a certain style into your space. And I always say that if there's one thing you do in your whole room, it's change the overhead lighting. The kind of light you'd find in a restaurant or a factory, it's very industrial and did not cost me a lot of money at all. Now it's time to bring in new furniture. I'm so excited. This is my favorite part. I get to decorate the whole room. The first thing I'm gonna do is bring in this desk. I chose a desk with a hardwood top and pin legs, again, to like go with that industrial feeling vibe. Kyle said he didn't need anything too large, so this is perfect. It fits right under the window. I knew I had to bring some sort of color into this space, and I thought a good place to do that would be the desk chair. So I got him a traditional feeling office chair, but I found one in a velvet, like forest green. So Kyle has tons of storage for all of his books and binders in the black cabinet on that wall but I wanted to find him a solution for all the loose papers he had strewn all over the floor. You can really make a decorative focal point out of your filing cabinet, and it has tons of drawers. So there's no excuse for him to have any piece of paper on the floor ever again. On top of it, I'm just adding this desk lamp. It's pretty large and in charge, but Kyle needs lots of light in this space, and this is a great accent piece that ties into the whole aesthetic of this room. When I walked into Kyle's space originally, I noticed that he had this awesome concrete and metal planter in his kitchen. What was not so awesome about it was that all the plants in it were dead. But I loved the piece so much and I thought, why don't we bring it into your office where there's way more light? There's no windows in his kitchen, so plants aren't really gonna survive in that space. So I just brought this planter onto the wall to add some greenery into his office. You can really never go wrong with plants in an office space and he has all the light in the world in this room and they look so cute up on this wall. 
We're often told that art is an important element of any space, and it absolutely is. I find that it adds like life to a space, it brings in color. An inexpensive hack is to go on a free photo stock site. This is where photographers put their images up online, and all you have to do is print it out at home and then get it framed, and you have a beautiful piece of art like this one. Oh my God. Like this one. This office is finally coming together. I'm so happy with how it's turning out. Now it is time for the final finishing touches. Even when I added all of these finishing touches in, I still felt like something was missing. I just didn't feel like the room looked like full enough. A good tip is to just layer things that you already have. So I found a couple art prints that he had hanging up in his living room. I actually found um, a keg, it's a keg, right? I found a keg that I just placed as decor on the ground and suddenly this whole space just felt better and it felt right. The time has come for me to find out what I spent on this room. I'm really nervous because this was a complete like reno basically. We took up the floor, we changed the paint, we brought in all new furniture and really transformed this space top to bottom. So, can I have the final budget? $797.55. And my budget was $800? Yes. <gasps> I'm under! Okay, that's actually like the biggest surprise of life if I'm completely honest. We did so much to this space for under $800. That's amazing. Okay, so now it is time to bring in Kyle. Come on in. Do not open them. Okay, you're gonna stand right here. Yep. You remember what it looked like? Yep, terracotta velvet. On the count of three, I want you to open your eyes, okay? One, two, three. Oh, wow. <laughs> what are you, the, oh! <laughs> It's, it's, it's so clean and like I, it doesn't feel nearly as chaotic anymore. Yeah, it's so open and airy. And it's bright and I don't have to worry about how dark it is. Again, it feels like modern. Yeah. And it's no longer in the 1970s. All of your beer books are in here. Also, your dying herb garden is no longer. It's now a succulent garden. <laughs> Yay, you're happy? Yeah. Okay, good, I was so nervous. <laughs> Honestly, I am so happy with Kyle's reaction. The first seven seconds of the reveal, I was like, he's not saying anything, he's not saying anything. And then he just turned to hug me and it was like the nicest moment ever. And I'm so happy that he is happy. And I really feel like his vision has come to life and now he's motivated and inspired to carry out this style throughout the rest of his home. Thank you guys so much for watching this makeover. If you wanna be a part of the Make My Space Work series, the contact info is down in the description box. I'd also love to know what style you guys love. Is it industrial, is it boho or modern? Let me know in the comments below. Bye.